Hello and welcome to YourLocalNote.com. This is the place where you can come to to find out what's going on with the Philadelphia music scene. We've got podcasts, we've got songs, new songs from all the Philadelphia area musicians. Discover them and check out all the talent that is here in the Philadelphia area. Uh, tonight's uh, podcast, well, we are featuring Tori Melhart. And we're going to find out uh, what uh, Tori is uh, singing about. Uh, and uh, let's uh, see how her career is going. Uh, she's a, a, a talented young lady. So check that out in just a couple minutes. Just want to remind you, we are streaming 24-7+. Plus, you can download our free apps. Just go to the respective stores and type in YLN. Download it for free. And you can check out the streaming and everything else that is going on with your local note.com. Okay, we're going to kick everything off with a song called Shining. It's uh, by Tori. Tori Melhart, and it's from her uh, EP. It's called Tori Melhart and the Acoustic Sessions, right here on yourlocalnote.com. The song is called Shining. It's from uh, Tori Melhart and her uh, new EP. It's called Tori Melhart and the Acoustic Sessions. Tori, welcome to YourLocalNote.com. Hello. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about uh, you first and how you got involved in music. How I got involved yes. in music? Yes. When, when, when did you realize that, you know what, music is for me? I think I realized that... A year or two ago, I really started focusing on it. Okay. Had you always been 
singing and playing before that, and it was just for fun? Yeah. Okay. I, I've always been singing, really, but I just started taking it seriously not that long ago. Okay. It, was there a song? Was there a show that you went to? Or was there something that that just clicked with you and said, this is, this is it. This is what I want to do. Um, I think that, for the most part, I just realized that there was nothing else that I really wanted to do. Uh-huh. And so I'll just go full force on music and hope that hope for the best pretty much okay so uh let's just talk about the first song uh, song uh shining now you wrote that song right yes is this something you did on your own do you get some help when you write uh, how, how does that process work well recently i've been writing everything by myself but with shining I wrote the words, all the words to that song, and one of my former guitarists, Craig Allen, he wrote the music for that. Okay, so he put the music together yes. for you. Uh, so is he someone that, uh, uh, how did you meet him? Is he someone that you were taking lessons from, or do you just uh, met him out playing at different places? How did that come about? Um, I was actually looking for a guitarist, okay. and we just found Craig online. Mm -hmm. And so he started playing with us, but he actually had to stop playing with me because um, he just had too much going on. <laughs> That's it. We, we find that a lot. I've, yeah. I've been amazed at how many artists that we've interviewed in this area um, not only have their own band, but then they, they have side projects. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, they have three or four things going on, and uh, it, it gets kind of crazy. So uh, in, in writing your song, let's talk about Shining. What was this song about then? Um, to me, it was about just starting and just being new to this and to follow what you believe and just go for what you want. Okay, very good. Um, so when you are writing songs, um, do you write, do you try to write from things that you've lived through yes. or or do you, okay, it's, it's all personal experience. Yeah. Okay, are you... Um, um, because you just came from Nashville, you you did well, and we'll talk about that a little yes. bit. Uh, you know, in Nashville, they all write together, yeah. And, and that's the one thing that I found pretty unique with with country music was how these uh, singer songwriters or just songwriters will schedule time with different people. And if you look at the different songs, it's almost it is very rare that one person writes the entire song. Yeah. You always see one or, or two other people. I, is that something you're looking to develop too? Um, yeah, I think that would be really cool if I was able to do that so that I have all, all different ideas and per perspectives of different people, okay. not just me. Okay. So as you go about, you're going to see people try to figure out who you get along with, who you're in sync with and things like that. Yes. Okay. Do you have a, uh, a band now that you're playing with? Um, pretty much right now, it's just me and my guitarist, Radka. Okay. And, um, hopefully soon enough we'll expand to hopefully a drummer and a bass player, but they're usually, drummer and bass players usually only go in bands that they know that will get out places. Right, right. So it's really hard to find those that'll stick around because guitar is more like, generic i guess more people play. sure so are you are you having then um are you struggling a little bit because you are new to the scene and, and you are on the young side yes okay so how are you going to go about trying to solve that problem obviously you can only grow up a certain pace yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i'm sure your mom says don't go too fast <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i guess right now we're trying to come up with I've written a bunch of new songs to, we're going to release an album, hopefully around um, January okay. this year, and mm -hmm. we already have almost, I'd say, half of the songs we want to put on there, mm -hmm. so hopefully that album will help a lot in attention. Okay. So basically, you just got to keep plugging away, and as people see you out more and about uh, out playing more that they'll be able to say okay she's serious let's let's uh, work with her yes okay well we'll we'll also we'll put uh and uh, we'll put some info out there on our site to let people know that you're looking for a bass player and a drummer because oh, cool. you never awesome. know because we, we we talk to a lot of different people yeah all right so so let's uh let's move on and talk about your influences what what do you like to listen to I like to listen to country music. Okay. 
That's my favorite, I have to say. Okay. Now, you're not originally from the Philadelphia area, is that correct? Um, well, my story of where I lived was I lived near here when I was really little. Like okay. I was born here, but I don't remember anything because I guess before I was even one, we moved down to Texas. Okay. And then we moved... We stayed there until I was like going maybe six-ish, around okay. when I was six, maybe a little before, and then we ended up moving back up here. Okay, because I was going to say, you don't have that Texas twang. Yeah. <laughs> All right, very cool. And But you've always loved country music. Yes, always. All right. Uh, favorite artist? Uh, Jason Aldean is my favorite. <laughs> okay, very nice. And do you listen to them trying to pick up ideas and things like that? Yeah, yeah. They're, it's really helpful to listen to all the different like stories and topics that they sing about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And um, are you, now do you play guitar? Yes, I'm learning right now mm-hmm. and I, I, I know enough to write my own music. Okay. So yeah. this is an ongoing process. Yes. All right. All right. Very cool. Uh, let's talk about uh, then uh, y- the second song that we're going to feature here on your local uh, It's Bless the Broken Road. Now, this is a cover song done yes. by uh, Rascal Flatts. Mm-hmm. Why, why? What do you like about this song? Why did you include this on uh, the Acoustic Sessions uh, EP? I just think that it's a beautiful song and it's about it kind of reminds me of how people say that everything kind of has a reason for happening right and because one of the lyrics is god bless the broken road that led me straight to you right so okay yeah. there you have it all right <laughs> this is uh tori melhart and uh, this is from her uh, ep the acoustic sessions and the song is called bless the broken road it's uh, originally done by rascal flats and this is your local note.com Wipe my brow, kept pushing through I still don't see how every sign Pointed straight to you Every long lost dream Has led me to where you are Others who broke my heart They were like northern stars To your loving arms This much I know is true That God bless the broken road Led me straight to you I think about the years I spent Just passing through I like to have the time I lost and give it back to you. But you just smile and take my hand. You've been there, you understand. It's all part of a grander plan that is coming true. Every long lost dream has led me to it. Who broke my heart They were like northern stars Pointing me on my way Into your loving arms This much I know is true That God bless the broken road That led me straight to you I know is true that God bless the broken road and let me straight to you. That God bless the broken road and let me straight.
All right, that's Tori Melhart, and uh, that is uh, she's doing a cover of uh, Bless the Broken Road. It's on her uh, Acoustic Sessions uh, EP. And, uh, Tori, you talked about already you have a new album that you're, you're working on. Yes. Uh, are you going to include uh, Shining in on that? Because that's an original song. No. Or you've got all new songs I'm just going to gonna start on it with that and are and now have you you said you've written the songs do you have a place where you are going to record or is um, how is that going to work for you um i think we're just going to try to find a recording place it's probably going to be like a somebody's home studio or something okay all right very cool in fact we have someone we you may want to look into oh cool uh, we work with them they're, they're, he's, he's a very talented guy uh, his name is uh, Carl Bonner and he's got Springhouse Sound out in King of Prussia oh cool uh, so we worked with him we actually did a um, we streamed a video uh, concert from his place so oh, wow, we'll be cool. working with him and I'll be talking with him soon so I'll, I'll mention him to you um, th- then okay with the sessions though acoustic sessions where did you record those we recorded them actually um one of my mom's friends Mm -hmm. her um her friend's husband uh has a recording studio in his house and that's where we went to so how involved were you with the recordings i mean was it something where you just sang and then you just stepped back and let them do all the technical stuff or were you asking questions are you looking to learn that aspect of the business I was, I paid a lot of attention to everything. I mean, I was there the whole time, uh, even when, like, the guitar was recording, too, because I felt that it was important for me to know everything and what's going on and be involved if we need to change something or if something didn't sound right. Was the experience different than what you expected? Um, I mean, it was my first time recording, so mm-hmm. I knew that it would... I, kn- I knew that it was going to be kind of tough sitting through everything because I've never done it before. Right. But I learned a lot from it. So. Are there things that you picked up that you're like, okay, now I know we're going to have even uh, a better time with the album because I've learned so much with the first session. Yes. Is there anything specific you can talk about that you uh, want to do differently with your uh, with your album coming up? Well, the album coming up, it's not just going to be acoustic. Thankfully, <laughs> um, I think it's going to sound much better with bass and drums. I don't know if we'll find somebody by then or just hire people to do it just for the album. Okay. But um, yeah, that's something different, but I don't know if we're going to do um, different like the order or anything. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, now, uh, you just got back from Nashville. Yes. You've been doing some touring. How's that going? It was. It's really great, actually. It was fun. Okay. Uh, when you went to Nashville, because Nashville, I, I know because I've, I've programmed country stations in the past, so I, I have an understanding, but there's some people who could be listening who, who don't really, uh, have never been to Nashville and don't really understand how that goes. So did you go there with some shows booked and then picked up some more shows when you're down there because you know they have people playing all the time yeah all um, over the place we had places planned out and that we had already like put our names in to play there Mm -hmm. um and we ended up playing at three places so i think that's pretty good considering it's the first time there sure sure and and the competition is unbelievable yeah did you watch some people while you were down there yeah like i went to the bluebird cafe and it was crazy seeing like everybody that was there Mm -hmm. there was like the line wrapped around a bunch of built like it was so long there's so many people that were looking for it the one thing when i first went to nashville the uh one thing that stuck out to me was all those people playing are playing for tips. Yeah. You know, they just put a hat out there and, and they just do it that way. And uh, I found that uh, really fascinating uh, to watch and and um, th- just to see the people support it there. I mean, it's a, it's a great town uh, for musicians. I mean, there's just so many people there. So I'm sure you'll be going back soon. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, very good. So when, when you're out playing, I mean, uh, what do you, I mean, is there... Do you enjoy being on stage more? Do you en- enjoy creating music or is it about the same? It's just two different things that you enjoy about equally. How does that work for you? I like them both a lot. I really like um, performing the songs a lot, mm-hmm. um, especially with my guitarist, Radka. It's, we just have so much fun on stage mm-hmm. and I just love that. Where'd you meet Radka? 
Um, we actually saw a bunch of her like YouTube videos. Okay. And stuff. So again, online we right. found her, um, and she's really amazing. She actually mostly plays electric guitar, mm-hmm. but um, she's learning like techniques for playing country. Okay, so country me. was not something. Yeah, she started out with rock, and <laughs> like so now she's do- doing country for me, and she's awesome. She's really, really talented. Well, I mean, how did then? I mean, how did you approach her if she's you know a rock guitarist and you're looking to do more country? I mean, how did that work, or is it just something you guys clicked? Actually, the um, my one of my friends who likes singing too, and she at first she thought that she would want to try to take this really far like I want to take it Mm -hmm. but then I guess she kind of changed her mind and we were originally looking for a guitarist for her and she sings rock okay so then when she decided that maybe that's not for her um we kind of asked Radka like hey you want to learn country and she was like sure she was for it okay so you'd been playing with her before I was no um with Radka yeah she I was never really playing with her before. Oh, okay. But my, f- uh, one of my friends who was looking for oh, a okay. guitarist, I it got was it. like, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And and she uh, she's enjoying what she's doing now? Yeah, yeah. Now, is she also looking to do stuff on her own too? Or is that, uh, uh, so you, you, you know, you two sort of will share a little bit? Yeah, we pretty much, um, we're kind of like a package deal. Like, I can't do anything without her. She can't do anything without <laughs> me. I mean... Okay. So she does most of the playing with the guitar and, and yeah. you, you do all the singing. Yeah. She actually has been learning uh, backing vocals for okay. some of my songs. So yeah. Okay. Are you about the same age then? Yeah. She's my age. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's very cool. Yeah. Wow. That's excellent. Uh, two talented young ladies hit the scene <laughs> here. Excellent. All right. Let's go on to uh, song number three. Uh, this is another cover. It's uh, called Born to Fly. This is uh, Sarah Evans. Now, th- this is uh, that's, this is tough shoes to follow because she's some vocalist. Yeah, she's amazing. What, what made you uh, pick that out? Especially so young in your career, that could be a difficult song for you. Yeah, I just, I liked that song because it was so upbeat. Mm-hmm. And I mean, when I started out, just started out singing in general, I really didn't do too many like super upbeat songs. Right. And like with that one, I really wanted to do it because... I was able to sing one like that, and I really liked it a lot. Okay, and you do a good job with it. Okay, (laughs) so let's go to Born to Fly. This is a cover uh, by Tori Melhart, and this is on her EP. It's called The Acoustic Sessions, right here on yourlocalnote.com. I've been telling my dreams to the scarecrow About the places that I like to see I said, friend, do you think I'll ever get
That's Born to Fly, Tori Melhart, uh, doing a cover of Sarah Evans' song. It's on her EP, The Acoustic Sessions, and Tori's hanging out with us on yourlocalnote.com. All right, Tori, let's talk about where people can find your music. Um, people can find my music... Uh, I would suggest first going on my website because then that has all the information. About okay, everything. and the website address is torymelhart.com. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, spell your last name. M e l h a r t. Okay, and it's great. And you've got some. Uh, I noticed on your website you do have some followers. Yeah, I and they are called the Melharts. Yes. Excellent. Who came up with that? Um, I guess like uh, my manager. Casey, he kind of just thought of it. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so everything is there. Are you on Twitter? People can follow you yes, on Twitter. I'm on Twitter and I have a Facebook page. And is it Tori Melhart? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's T O R R I. Yes, T O R. Okay, <laughs> very cool. And uh, then you got your website. Everything is there. People can find out all the info as far as where they can uh, get your music. Uh, let's talk about where you're going to be playing. Um, I'm going to be show? playing, um, the next big thing I have is in New York, and mm-hmm. it's called the Pop City Tour on August 18th. Very cool. Um, I think there's four performers playing. I believe there's four. Um, and I'm going to be singing four songs. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody there is doing original songs. Okay. So, um, and do you have songs that you have written that you're previewing now that you have for the next album? Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Nice, nice. <laughs> now, when you're out and play, uh, out and about playing, are there songs? Or do you ever experience a, a song that you're like, "Oh, I, this is a great song, and and I'm going to get a great reaction," and it doesn't go the way you want, and then a song that you're like, "Well, this is okay," and then you get a good reaction. Do you have? Do, does that happen to you, or the, the, any surprises when you're playing your your music? Um, I think I was surprised um, at how much people liked Shining, mm-hmm. or at least um, by the hits. Um, I made like a video for Shining. Yep, saw the video. And I think I was surprised at how many people had viewed it. Okay, well, very nice, <laughs> very nice. And uh, so you've got an, uh, a bunch of songs ready to go for a new album. Mm-hmm. What's what's your goal to get this out? Um, By the end of the year? Um, yeah, hopefully the new year it'll be out. Okay, very cool. We're like, do you have a name of the album already set aside? Yes. Or, you do? Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we'll, we'll preview that when once you get into the studio. How's that? All right. All right, once you hit the studio, you'll let us know, and we'll tell everyone Tori's working on her new album, and we'll put the name up. How's that sound? All right, that sounds great. Okay, very cool. All right, let's go to the last song. Now, this is a song that uh, you wrote. Uh, it's called Letting Go. Now, is this a song that you wrote both the words and the music no this was another one that craig helped a lot with. okay and and uh so he wrote the music for you yes and you wrote the words what yes. what is what is this song about um this song has a really deep meaning because it's about um how people feel when they're being bullied mm-hmm. and that sometimes you just have to let things go and everything's gonna be okay Okay, very cool. Uh, one quick question I just thought in my head. It, does Radka help you write uh, some of the songs? Um, she hasn't really um, written anything, really. Okay. Or con- she's written stuff, but not country. Really. Right, right. I'm sure she's messed around with some stuff, but um, I think eventually she's going to be a big help in writing okay. stuff. But um Right now, I'm doing most of the new stuff. Music and lyrics? Yes. Very cool. How's that going? It's actually, um, it's a lot different than I thought because when I try to sit down and tell myself, okay, you have to write something, it doesn't really work. I have to just kind of like let it come. Sure. And when it comes, it comes. Sure. Yeah. There there have been all different experiences that we have heard with with different songwriters and when they get inspired. Some yeah. of them get inspired at three o'clock in the morning. They get up <laughs> and they have to start writing stuff down or, or they have a, a tape recorder next to him. Uh, we had one guy who does all his writing when he's in the bathroom. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's uh, it's the gambit there. So uh, that's that's very cool. Good luck with that. Thank you. Because when, when you get that ready to go, we want to get you back in here, okay? 
Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, just want to remind you again, we are streaming 24-7. Uh, also, we will have a brand new podcast uh, next week. We have a new bo- podcast every Monday. Of course, if you want to sign up for a newsletter, it's very simple. All you have to do is uh, get in touch with us um, by uh, emailing us, contact at your local note.com. And of course, you can always download our free, I said free, apps. They are absolutely free. Okay, once again, uh, thank you very much, Tori. Uh, the song is called Letting Go. It's from Tori Melhart's uh, uh, EP called Tori Melhart and the Acoustic Sessions. This is your local note.com. Sometimes tears are just the way that